I love farm strips and this time we get to visit two new ones, both short and tight where I not only get to fly a tricky approach and get rewarded with some amazing ice cream, I also get to unintentionally show a load of kids with stones. So join me today as together we go summer farm stripping in Kent. Welcome to Shortfield, a channel all about the lighter side of aviation. And today we're off to a couple of farm strips, both set in the Garden of England for some short strip flying. So buckle up, because here we go. Solly's is a famous brand of Kentish ice cream, made to a special recipe on the lovely working farm at Ripple, where we will be checking out the short farm strip located there and tasting their sweet ice cream straight from the on-site parlour shop. But first we're off to Harringe Court Farm, a 380 metre narrow grass strip that's mainly used by microlites and from my PPR and briefing and with the wind blowing from the north today I've established that we'll need to be landing on their runway 01 which has a slight downhill slope. Harringe Court Farm is located just over 5 nautical miles to the west of Folkestone and about the same distance to the east of Ashford in Kent. It has a single grass runway, 380 metres long by 10 metres wide, orientated 0119. It's set in open farmland but with noise sensitive areas all around and a model flying club close to the 19 threshold. It's also home to the Kent Microlite Club. You join me on the right hand downwind leg. Brakes are off. Carriage is down fixed, mixture's rich, fuel pumps on. I think that might be the Barrington one over there. This part of South East England has lots of grass strips in a small area. As I'm unfamiliar with this strip, I give myself plenty of space, so extend the downwind portion. The field sits at an elevation of 275 feet atop the South Kent Downs, and I turn onto base and then final where the downs end. So nothing on the approach, having a good look. We've got some hills running up here, so the, it's lower than it looks. What a load of nonsense I say when concentrating. I was trying to tell myself the field is actually higher than the surrounding terrain. No obstacles, nothing really on the departure. There is some cables but they're quite a way off. As the airfield is not that easy to keep in view, I'm double checking my position against the GPS and Sky Demon. I'm also using this opportunity to study the departure end of the field for obstacles in case of a go around and for when I depart from there later on. I really have extended this circuit way too much. Oh well, at least it gives me time to get fully established. Spitfire up there. As I fly final, I'm adjusting the power to keep the field at the same position in the screen. The wind is pretty much straight down the runway, but it is a little gusty. The runway looks quite short and narrow from the approach, but it's clear and with just some bushes to fly over and a small road, it seems all very straightforward. Okay, brakes off, undercarriage down, mixture switch, fuel pumps on, engine T's and P's, we're hatched, harnessed. Short final now, and we pass over a field of livestock at low level, clear. and I always wonder what they must think. And I drop in with a firm landing, perhaps a little firmer than I've wanted, and stop with plenty of runway left. <laughs> Out 
That was a bit of a heavy landing, sorry about that. So we parked up and there's no one here, just a couple of parked cars which suggest someone's flying. Let's find a movements book and see if we can make a cuppa. Now I like a decent coffee and from experience it's pretty hit and miss at strips on what facilities are available. There's usually a kettle and some coffee and tea but as I like my coffee white if there is milk it's usually out of date and if there's powder it can sometimes be a little on the lumpy side. Now I do like my coffee and sometimes you can go to these little places and <sighs> coffee's not great. It's very nice but it's not great so I they always have a kettle and they always have a cup and they normally have a spoon so I bring a little sachet of coffee with me uh, that way I can make my own and uh, with limited resources <laughs> just a kettle a cup spoon got a little munchy bar as well and it's all good Perfect. Okay, so having finished my coffee, I now need a so, pee. I think we need to find, is it a wee in a bush? Or is there a toilet? Who knows? Ah. Air raid shelter this way. I reckon that's it. What have we got in here? Is it a hole in the ground? No. No, it's an actual toilet. Ow. It's an actual toilet. Oh. Trike pilots only. Ladies and fixed wing pilots. Brilliant. Wow. Someone's got a sense of humour. That is awesome. Brakes definitely off. Hatched harness. Parachute can come out. We're on the left tank, fuel pumps on, fuel pressure's good, everything's in the green. All done and we're back in the plane with our checks complete and we're ready for departure on the same runway we landed on. Okay. Airspeed's alive. Definitely committed. This time the hill works in our favour and we're airborne before we know it, climbing away for our next destination, Ripple. Over the motorway. Ripple is a very special strip and one that I feel immensely privileged to be allowed in. I would never fly into anywhere that requires PPR without it, but this one not only insists on prior permission by telephone, but also requires you to have a full briefing beforehand, and, as I found out, ground crew to clear the runway for you. Ripple is a working farm, a dairy, a campsite and a visitor attraction located less than a mile to the west of Deal. It has one short grass runway at 350 metres long, 24 metres wide and it's orientated 0220. It's just 10 feet above sea level. So we're back in the cockpit and the first thing is finding the strip. Uh, where is the runway? Making out these small grass runways amongst farmland can be quite difficult and often what appears to be a strip is just part of a field that happens to look like one. I think as pilots we're always looking for suitable landing areas and look at any piece of rectangular land as a runway. This is why an overhead join is always the best procedure for identifying the correct field. There it is there. That gusty wind is still blowing from the north and we're now on left hand downwind for runway 02. And I keep losing sight of the runway as it appears to be in a dip in the landscape. Brakes are off, undercarriage is down, fixed, mixtures rich, fuel pumps on, Engine T's and P's, green, green, green. 
we're hatched, we're harnessed. Problem when you lose sight of it. And we'll follow this down. It's clear on the uh, climb out, so don't fancy it. Can always go around. Make a song about that. This is where Sky Demon really comes into its own. For situational awareness in a visual environment, it just can't be beaten. Wants me to come in at a bit of an angle. Go over to the east a bit. Fly through the final approach track. The owner had requested I make my approach offset to the east of the final approach track for what I assumed was noise reasons, but on turning final I now realise it was to avoid two massive trees block blocking short final. On passing the trees, I note that there's loads of activity on and directly around the strip, so I decide to go around in order to let people know I intend on landing. Plus, it gives me a good look at the layout, and I note that there are tall crops either side of the runway. I'm going to need to be very accurate on this one. So around we go again and we're back on final. This time I've decided to go through the gap in the trees. Speed's good, almost clear. On my go around I noticed a guy trying to keep the field clear of people. Looks like he succeeded and the field looks good to land on. I fly through the trees and across the campsite at the end, then kick it right to line up and drop it in, stopping around 250 metres into the runway. A quick 180 and taxiing back up the runway, I notice a guy giving me directions to park in the car park. This is bonkers. <laughs> This is cool, got a welcoming party. That's it, all parked up with a bit of an audience. Now let's go and get an ice cream. I think I deserve one. Can you guess what flavour I'm going to choose? Right, I think I've earned an ice cream now. Let's go and get one. Chocolate chip. I bet you didn't guess that. Mm. Mm. 
No, it was short there. Yeah. So, this is Stoddy's farm. It's very unusual. What a cool place. These crops are just so high though, look. And I think he keeps them that high because he's got a trail in there somewhere. It's the most unusual place I think I've ever landed at. And I've been to some weird places. It's so cool though, and the ice cream was delicious. I might have to come back. Sort of fancied the mint chocolate chip. Although, I also like the look of the uh, strawberry fall. Probably matches me better. Right, we're back in the aircraft and backtracking for departure. I asked the guy keeping the runway clear at what point could I start my takeoff from. He said I could go right up to the gravel pathway and he would keep people behind me. This turned out to be a bad move as when I turned around I blasted kids with stones and gravel. Sorry. I felt like a celebrity as loads of people were filming me on their phones but thinking about it Perhaps they were just waiting to see me crash. Okay, here we go. So, it's full power, hold it on the brakes, release, then off we go. And after a bit of bumpy ground as we start our roll, and a quick wave to our onlookers, we build up speed, okay, keeping the aircraft okay, running down the alive. middle of the strip. We accelerate quickly, and as we hit 52 knots, she wants to fly, and I let her. We climb out, over the end of the short runway, and set a course for home. Bye bye Stollies, that was brilliant, that was so cool, don't think the conditions would have been much better than that. Yeah, it's still on three, two, I think here now switch to the nice one. What a fantastic day's flying, it was challenging and it was different but it was super fun. So that does it for this time. And as we head home, I look for a nice gap to climb above the clouds and try and find that sun again. I love farm strips and Ripple is one of the more unusual ones. Do you have a favourite strip or airfield and do you visit just for the challenge or do you want some facilities when you get there? Please pop your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear about your thoughts, experiences or recommendations and I try to read every comment. Thank you so much for watching. I've loved making this video, especially the flying part and eating the ice cream. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so I can let you know next time I upload a video. Being subscribed doesn't necessarily mean YouTube will let you know about new videos, but by clicking that bell, you'll definitely be informed. Hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful, but please note I'm not an instructor and any information you get from this video is all based on my personal experience as a private pilot in the UK. Both the airfields I visited today require permission to visit before leaving the ground. I've popped a link for both airfields websites in the description below. Fly safe guys and short field out.